When in Rome, there's lots of walking. I'm so out of breath. Ice cold, obviously. That's pretty much the full Airbnb tour. How the heck did they build this? We made it to Rome, Italy, and I'm so excited to be here. been pretty chaotic we were able to drop our luggage off but other than that just had to browse the city on no sleep and such so now I'm showered I, I think we're gonna chill for the rest of the afternoon and then go to like a nice dinner this is the start of the Europe travel series and I am so excited all right we chilled in the room for a while and now we're all ready for dinner so i will give you my outfit of the day one is from pepper mayo i absolutely love this slip dress and then i just have a lot of gold jewelry on and i did my hair i like waved it for the first time in forever and i forgot how much i love when my hair is like this so and then we are ready to go to dinner We just watched the sunset near the Colosseum and it was stunning. You can still see the Colosseum here and then a little bit of the sunset. I want bread. I want like really yummy warm bread. So maybe we can make that happen and maybe a fun drink. That's true. To match your dress. Yeah, to match my dress. So. Is that dope? Googie. Asensio. Asensio. So, if you're coming here, it's like right near the Coliseum. Also, I popped Josh's little overshirt thing because I was very hot and now I'm ice cold, obviously. So 70. 75 <laughs> with a breeze. Yeah. So, you know, you know what I mean. Okay, good morning. It is the next day in Rome. We last night just went through photos on our phones and then passed out. But right now we are gonna get ready and then go to the Trevi Fountain nice and early because if you want to get a nice photo there, it is very crowded. Yeah, I'm just going to finish up doing my makeup and then pick out that outfit. All right, it is just about seven o'clock and we are ready to go. I will give you the quick fit check, but this blue midi, honestly it's a maxi dress, is from Free People. And then this hair scarf is Target. I have my gold jewelry that I always have on and then let me put on my shoes. I have my classic New Balance shoe. I wanted to wear a dress that was still kind of chill and comfortable and I could wear a sneaker with because when in Rome, there's lots of walking. I just don't know which way the quickest way is, but it's definitely... Oh, so you don't know where you're going. We can go this way or this way. All right. Well, you choose which is faster, since you don't need directions. <laughs> we are en route to the Trevi Fountain, and... These are the Spanish steps. <laughs> these are not the Spanish steps. There are lots of steps here, so hence why I wanted to wear sneakers for walking around. I'm already out of breath. Okay. Only my phone has um, an international plan right now. I cannot put this in. I'm so out of breath. chocolate croissants, one for me, two for Josh, and some still water. We just finished up with our breakfast and now we're heading over to the Pantheon because it 
it opens up at 9 a.m. and we're hoping to get in there early and then head back to our room before we have our Coliseum tickets. So, wow, the sun is bright. All right, we made it to the Pantheon. We just got back to our Airbnb and I wanted to give you an Airbnb tour with a gorgeous view and we just love it, so let's go. Okay, so when you open this up, it goes right into this little kitchen area, which actually has a window of its own. But yeah, it has some little necessities in here and then I low-key love that there's a mirror for in the kitchen and then just a few dishes and stuff like that in the cabinets. Also, I did not see these until just now, but look at these little espresso mugs. So cute. Then you come into the main part of the living area, which there's a little table here and a full body mirror where the closet is. I haven't really unpacked because we're only here for a little bit. And then there is a pullout bed. So it's a studio and it's definitely smaller, but we were pretty comfortable. A little bed chair thing, which I've been kind of enjoying sitting on with its own window. And then the reason that I booked this place was this view. It is absolutely stunning. So you can see the Roman Forum, the ruins, and even the Colosseum way over there, which is just really cool. And then when you come into here, it is the bathroom and I thought that this was the cutest thing ever. It has the blue and white tile everywhere. It has a little vanity mirror, toilet obviously, also your own open up window. So very cool, natural lighting in here. And then the shower. But that's pretty much the full Airbnb tour. It is a smaller place, but it works perfect for us. So yeah, we're super excited to be here in Rome. We just got to the Coliseum for our Coliseum tour and I had this little sweater and skirt on but it is actually so hot so I'm just in a tank top right now. Okay, so we have been walking around the Coliseum for a little bit now and it's so awesome. It's Pretty just, cool. how the heck do they build this? Doesn't yeah, make sense to me. Gotta go. and sat and chilled pretty much all afternoon because we were so exhausted. And now we just got ready for dinner and are going to head over to Osteria de Fortunata. I'm probably saying that wrong, but it was the highest recommended thing on my Instagram. So yeah, we're going to go and see how it is. We are at Osteria da Fortunata. Again, don't know if I'm saying that right. I got the Bolognese and Josh got the Carbonara and they both look phenomenal. We also got this Italian white wine, which is delicious. Um, they literally make the pasta in a window right there. So I'm honestly hoping this is the best pasta of my life. Okay, so we are at the Piazza Navarro. It has the fountain here and then all of the buildings, but yeah, we finished up dinner and now we're heading back to our place, but we wanted to stop here first. Okay, Josh, what are we up to? Uh, we are up to me folding all the stuff, Natalie taking my flannel, and us walking back to our place. As she should. A wife should have the flannel. It's a chilly night in Rome. And by chilly, I mean 78 with a breeze, but you know, we're not counting. Am I enjoying this? Absolutely. Will I sail down to flannel? Absolutely. We woke up later this morning. It's the next day and we are about to head to the Vatican. We haven't had breakfast yet, so we're hoping that we can find a cafe over there. 
and I did read that you shouldn't have tank tops, so I brought this extra over shirt with me that I'll button up. I'm just throwing it in my bag when we get into the Sistine Chapel. Oh, we have matching shoes. Oh yeah. These are my favorite shoes to exist. And matching watches. Waldor. Mine is this little Jerp Avenue tank top and then my Shop Alley Grace custom jeans with those new balances. And then in my tote bag, I have that little overture I was talking about. Yeah, that's the fit. We are out of the Vatican Museum and the Sistine Chapel, so now we came to the Basilica, um, just the square area, and it's huge and looks very cool. It's 11.45. We had planned to leave at this time, so we're doing pretty good on time. Our checkout, we got it later for 12.30, which is perfect, so we'll have enough time to go back, plug in our phones, get all of our stuff together, which we kind of packed this morning, and then head out to Positano, which I am so excited about. That's like been my dream place for so long. We didn't think we would be able to go to the Vatican Museums because we could not find tickets available. And then we checked this morning. There was ones available for 10.30 a.m., which is like the latest that we could go and still make it and see the things that we wanted to. So we definitely didn't get to see everything. It was huge and we had about an hour. I did an art appreciation class and my professor was super invested in all this stuff and I just distinctly remember a lot of these paintings and different artworks. It's been really cool to see some of those things in real life and just remember learning about them. So We should reenact one of them. Our view, it's so pretty. You can't find gelato. This does not feel real. Tell me your thoughts right now. What's going through your mind? 